Live from downtown St. Joseph, you're watching News Press Now Morning Edition. Morning, even colder temperatures return to the area for the weekend, but a warming trend returns next week. I'll have the details coming up next. Hey, good morning, Hannah, coming up. And it is unacceptable, totally unacceptable. Riots at the Capitol. President-elect Joe Biden provides a speech on the riots at the Capitol and a sad update involving the condition of the police officer at the Capitol as well. That is next. Plus, invoke the 25th. Democratic Congress leaders demand Vice President Pence uh, invoke the 25th Amendment on President Trump following Wednesday's riots or they will move forward with impeachment hearings. Hear from them. That is still ahead. And later, college funding. Two local college campuses receive large funds from the state. Our reporter asked how those funds will be applied. That is coming up later. All that more as we continue with you on this January 28th, 2021. It's Friday. Hey, good morning. This is News Press Now Morning Edition. I'm Zach Fisher. And I'm Hannah Page. Thank goodness for uh, the Friday to be here. The weekend is here. But uh, colder temperatures are still here. Hannah. Yes, and they will be all weekend long, unfortunately. So good morning. We're starting off around a 5 to 11 degrees colder than yesterday, and that is placing a few areas into the teens right now. Fall City at 17, another 19 for Cameron, and then the warmest right now, 27 all the way from Highland through Trimble. So our temperatures really not budging much this morning as we continue with a lot of cloud cover, and you can see that fog developing a little thicker than yesterday. So visibility will be down um, just a little bit. I'll update you that in just about three minutes, but the bus stop forecast this morning. Sunrise not until 741 and then after that as we have cloudy conditions that north wind 27 degrees with highs in the 30s today. So we'll talk more about this afternoon up next. All right, Tana, thank you. Well, we start with sad news this morning following Wednesday's violent assault on the U.S. Capitol. Capitol Police say Officer Brian Sicknick died last night after he was injured while engaging protesters. He later collapsed at his division office and was taken to a local hospital. Sick Nick died from his injuries around 9.30 last night. He's the fifth person to die from Wednesday's riot. 